At this point in LeBron's career, history's on the line almost every time he steps foot on the court. The Lakers vs. Bucks matchup on the 2nd of December was no exception, as he further cemented himself as one of the greatest to ever play the game. If you want to know what was so special about his performance, then this video's for you, as we're going to be telling you exactly that. But first, a reminder about our brand new giveaway. We're giving away a PS5 with a copy of NBA 2022 and Madden 22. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. First up, another day, another achievement for King James. We all know that LeBron's a menace on both ends of the floor and can basically do it all. No matter what, he'll be stuffing the stat sheet whether it's scoring, rebounding, or dishing dimes. That's why he's top 10 on almost every list. And after his spectacular performance against the Bucks, he now finds himself with the sixth most assists in NBA history as he surpassed one of the greatest Lakers of all time, Magic Johnson. James jumped into sixth place when he picked up his ninth assist with 8 minutes and 41 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. The best part is that it was a super important assist in the game's context because he found Anthony Davis on the right wing, who cashed in on the three to give the Lakers a four-point lead. King James finished the game with 11 assists, 8 boards, 2 steals, and 28 points, playing an integral part in leading LA past the Giannis-led Bucks. LeBron now has 10,150 assists for his career, giving him an average of 7.3 assists per game. And get this, James is the only forward in the top six, and he only trails Mark Jackson and Steve Nash by 184 and 185 assists, respectively, so we think he's easily going to be in the top four on this list in no time. Up next, what did LeBron and Magic have to say about James moving up the assist ladder? Following the game, the four-time champ said it means a lot to him to have surpassed an all-time great, especially because of how much he looked up to Johnson. James stated that he especially admired how great Magic was at passing the ball and getting everyone else involved rather than playing selfishly, so to somehow have more dimes than a guy like Johnson's clearly a huge deal. But at the end of the day, it's not surprising that LeBron was able to accomplish this since his longevity is unbelievable. It's the mailman, Carl Malone, and is now number two all-time in scoring. Plus, he's always said that he's a firm believer in getting his squad involved because he knows he won't win anything worthwhile otherwise. Of course, Magic also made sure to congratulate the King because the two have always had a great relationship, especially because LeBron's son with LA when Johnson was the president of basketball operations for the Lakers. The Hall of Famer took to his Twitter to give LeBron his flowers and finished his tweet by saying that the effect James has had on basketball will last for generations to come. Following that, what else can James achieve this year? Unless you've been living under a rock, then you know that one of the hottest storylines entering this season was LeBron passing up Kareem for the most points in NBA history. As things stand, the 18-time All-Star only trails Abdul-Jabbar by 907 points, and considering the fact that LeBron's averaging a little over 26 points in 16 games this season, he'll be at the top of the list in no time. According to our calculations, it shouldn't take King James longer than 35 games to have the most points all time, so long as he keeps his scoring average at 26 a game. Now, let's compare the careers of LeBron and Magic. Starting off, let's look at who has a better track record on the big stage. LeBron may have let his fans down in his first two trips to the finals in 2007 and 2011, but since 2012, it's been clear that LeBron's been running the league. He won back to back rings with the Heat in 2012 and 2013 and led them to the finals the year later, though unfortunately for LeBron, the rest of the squad let him down that year. Once he made his way back to Cleveland, James led the Cavs to four straight trips to the finals. He may have only been victorious in one of them, but that 3-1 comeback in 2016 was unbelievable. Then he delivered again in 2020 when he led LA to the finals and won his fourth ring. Unlike James, Magic didn't have to wait too long before winning a title, as he won his first in his rookie year. Then he led the Lakers to another victory on the big stage in 1982 when LA defeated the 76ers, though Philly got their revenge on Johnson in the 1983 finals. Then in 1984, Magic had a disappointing showing in the finals as his rival Larry Bird would take home the championship, though he got his revenge in the 1985 finals to win his third ring. His fourth came in 1987 and his final one in 1988, but he also made it to the finals in 1989 and 1991 where the Lakers fell short to Detroit and Chicago. With a record of 5-4 and four compared to LeBron's 4-6, and six, we're going to have to give the advantage to Magic. Coming up, let's look at their finals MVP awards. LeBron was the most valuable player in each finals series he won. When he bagged his first finals MVP in 2012, he put up terrific averages of 28.6 points, 10.2 rebounds, 7.4 assists, and 1.6 steals. Then he was equally impressive in 2013, when he posted 25.3 points per game, along with 10.9 rebounds and 7 dimes. Following that, he had his greatest performance in the finals in 2016, when he led the Cavs to the greatest comeback in 
NBA history. He went beast mode and averaged 29.7 points, 11.3 rebounds, and 8.9 assists. He was making nearly 50% of shots, and it literally felt like he turned into Superman during that series. In 2020, James won his fourth Finals MVP after putting up fantastic averages of 29.8, 11.8, and 8.5 to further cement himself as one of the greatest of all time. Now, for Magic, he won his first Finals MVP in his rookie year after posting incredible averages of 21.5, 11.2, and 8.7, but he didn't stop there, as he won his second award in 1982 after putting up another double-double with averages of 16.2, 10.8, and 8, though his best numbers came in 1987, when he averaged 26 points per game, along with 8 rebounds and a staggering 13 dimes. Since LeBron has won more Finals MVP and was the most valuable player in each victory, while having better stats, he's the clear winner here. Moving on, let's look at who has more league MVPs. King James has won a total of four league MVP awards, with his first two coming in 2009 and 2010, followed by two more in 2012 and 2013. While he was fantastic each of these years, he was so good in 2013 that he was close to becoming the first ever unanimous MVP, but he just missed out. Even so, this period was LeBron's best, as he was simply unstoppable. He averaged 28 points per game, along with 7.7 .7 rebounds and 7.3 assists across all four MVP campaigns. Magic also has no shortage of league MVPs, as he won his first in 1987, followed by back-to-back -back MVP seasons in 1989 and 1990. As for his averages, he put up 22.9 points, dished out 12.1 dimes, and 6.8 boards across all three MVP seasons. Again, even though it's close, LeBron has the lead thanks to his four MVPs to Johnson's three. Up next, who has more All-Star selections and All-Star game MVPs? King James is an 18-time All-Star, and the craziest part is that he hasn't missed out on a single All-Star game since 2005, plus he has the MVP for three of those appearances. Johnson was only selected for 12 All-Star games, but it's important to remember that he was an All-Star every season of his career, minus his sophomore and final year in the league, so 12 appearances in 14 seasons is also pretty impressive. Magic only won two All-Star game MVPs, so keeping that in mind along with the selections, James gets the lead once again. Finally, who has more assists titles? Even though LeBron's always been a good passer, he won his first assist title following the end of the 2020 season when he dished out 10.2 dimes per game. As for Magic, he won the assist title four times, with his first coming in 1983 when he averaged 10.5 assists per game, but that was nothing compared to his 1984 campaign as he dished out 13.1 dimes per game that year. He led the league once again in 1986 when he put up 12.6 a game and secured his final assist title in 1987 after racking up 12.2 assists per game. With a lead of 4-0 over here, we'll have to give the edge to Magic, but the winner of our comparisons, LeBron, as he edges out Johnson with a final score of 3-2. That's a wrap for this video. How many assists do you think LeBron's going to end his season with, and do you think he's better than Magic? Let us know in the comments below. As always, remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.